Well, folks, you know it's election season in South Africa, and how can I tell you that? Suddenly, the African National Congress is concerned about unemployment, gender-based violence, and all the other social ills that they have precipitated. So what's going on now? Well, in Gauteng province, which is about to be lost to a coalition of opposition parties, the ANC has its premier, Panyaza Lusufi, out there doling out jobs. And it's comical to listen to what he has to say. These are young people who are recorded by a national government and their contracts came to an end. We felt that we, we can't have 32,000 people unemployed when they have done so well. The problem is that they don't have real jobs. Their cater hires being carried on the dole by the taxpayer. None of these 32,000 people have invented a new widget. None of them have built a tuck shop or a spaza. None of them developed some farm. None of them have contributed anything. They're simply leeching off of taxpayers in fake artificial jobs created a la King Franklin Delano Roosevelt, creating the Civilian Conservation Corps and paying people with debt payments by the government borrowing money. Now, addressing the crowd, this, this, is, this is what's so funny about this. Addressing the crowd, Hauteng Premier, Hauteng Premier Panyazi Lusifi said that young people should not depend on grants and handouts. Instead, they must work for themselves, earn their salaries, and contribute to the province's economic development and growth. Well, I don't disagree with him. Lusufi is 100% correct. But creating fake jobs that are leeching off of taxpayers doesn't grow the economy. It's total nonsense. This is fictitious. Social development department, you can keep your social grants. We are employing them. <laughs> Panyazi Lusufi, you're simply shifting money from welfare payments to paying people for work. That's an improvement, but it doesn't grow the economy. Only communists and idiots would believe that it actually grows the economy. Now, this is where it gets really bad, and this is where I call out the legacy media. The Independent Online is carrying the water rather than reporting the news. For instance, this is what they had to say. This is, is as Lusufi continued to fulfill his long-standing promise to create jobs for young people in the province since his inception as the premier. The problem, once again, is that he's not creating jobs. No new factory, no new farm, no new invention, simply the government creating work. They continue, this is the third biggest public handover of appointment letters to date since last year. Lasufi has so far handed over more than 90,000 employment letters to the unemployed youth, including the Hauteng Crime Prevention Wardens Amapanyazi, who are now training under the supervision of the South African National Defense Force to fight crime in the province. But the South African National Force, Defense Force, its competency is not fighting crime. In fact, it's supposed to not fight crime because of the history of the South African Defense Force. Specifically, that is the job of the South African Police Service. And this armed band of brigands under Lusufi's control is personal little army. 90,000 bought votes. That's what this is, ladies and gentlemen. The African National Congress is buying votes. They didn't care about the unemployed youth until election time. Until election time. And suddenly, after 30 years in the last year, they've supposedly created 90,000 jobs. None of which are legitimate, genuine, real jobs, none of which contribute to the economy. They simply transfer welfare payments from the welfare doles to people who are still getting social payments in government-created fake jobs. And that's the bottom line here. Only communists and morons would believe that this actually grows an economy. This isn't how you grow it. You restrain government spending. You ensure public safety. You create a level playing field so that no one has advantage. You don't create racially based laws that discriminate against part of society to the detriment of all in society. But that's what the ANC does. That's what commies do. They pick winners and losers. They hate people. They find enemies, whether it's class, race, ethnicity, religion. They find a way to divide society. This is so sad. The sad part about this is Panyazi Lasufi probably thinks he's some sort of hero. He's done a great job. Look at me. I created 90,000 jobs. You sound like Joe Biden. Joe Biden hasn't created a single job. Has the payroll of the government grown? No. Has the economy grown? Well, depends on how you look at it. But it didn't grow because of Joe Biden's policies. It grew in spite of Joe Biden's policies. And this is fake job creation. It's like Franklin Roosevelt and his CCC just creating jobs out of thin air that really don't exist. And they compete with the private sector. The jobs for the security guards, for this um, Panyazi force of wardens, this militia for Panyazi, 
These are all people that can be hired by security companies and trained by them and paid out of the private sector. But nope, not in commie South Africa. The ANC is here to save you after destroying your lives and impoverishing 30 million black South Africans and 10 times as many white South Africans in poverty as under the National Party. What an accomplishment. I'm a Panyazi. 90,000 jobs created. <laughs> it would be comical if it weren't so sad. Thanks a lot, folks. Take care.